Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day 31 of Inktober 2022. Whew, 31 videos in 31 days. This has been so much fun. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed every day of tangling. I hope that the videos have been enjoyable for you, that you've learned some new things. I think out of the 31 tangles, I've only done two or three of them. So there were so many new ones for me. And I know the videos were not perfect. I know some of the videos were wiggly, maybe out of focus. Um, some of the tangles I hadn't practiced enough maybe, or I would change a little bit. And I really, really appreciate you following along and just being on that journey with me and letting the mistakes happen, letting the, I don't know, kind of the craziness of just trying to put all these tangles together. I just appreciate you sticking around for that. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed these videos, please follow my channel, Kelly Bluen. And I have every Saturday, I release a new 15 minutes of Zen, just a quick little Zen Tangle video. I think there's about 40 videos already on my channel. So if you enjoyed these, please follow along for more fun videos. All right, today we are doing Pangea. This is a Zen Tangle, original Tangle. And I'm putting it on my calendar. Um, if this is the first video that you've seen of mine, then I just want you to know you can find this calendar on my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. And after I do the tangle on here, I move to a piece of mixed media paper where I'm putting all 31 tangles. So, Pangea. Also today, I've got a bonus for our last day. And this is also a Zen tangle tangle called Mirth. And I'm adding that because this is one that is often done with Pangea. And I thought it would be fun to do today. So I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, try not to wiggle this too much. All right, I'm starting with my Micron 01 pen. And I'm going to start with Pangea. So Pangea is one of those tangles that is so simple that often I forget to do it and I forget how beautiful it can be. So this is just starting out with kind of a wiggly, odd shape. And then the magic of this one is being able to follow along that first pattern to create your next one. So I'm just going to go right alongside and then I'm going to make another one of those odd shapes. I'm going to aura along these two. And do it again. I think this is a very calm tangle to make because there's no right or wrong. You're just following along and making a new shape. So that is the simplest form of Pangea. So pretty. And then when we get to my larger piece, I'll show you all the fun things that we can do inside that. Okay, the second one, our bonus one today is called Mirth. And this one, I'm going to draw Pangea. I'm just going to draw one shape. And Mirth starts by making this little curved shape towards the middle of Pangea. You can do this in any shape. And then we go to the bottom of this sideways C. And I make a line going out of it. And then another line, but I'm going to curve a little bit. And a line there. 
So I'm kind of filling in that area. And then at the end of each of these, I'm going to thicken the line where it meets the edge. So thickening that line like that. And then inside here, I'm going to darken those extra areas and a little bit around this bottom part so it looks like a hole. And then we start putting lines out from that center out to the line. And the same thing we did up here, we're going to thicken those ends so you can make little triangles at the end or you can simply push down harder on your pen when you get to the end. Light and then dark, light and then dark. And up here, we just sort of imagine where those would come out of that middle like that. And obviously I would finish up those also, but I'm gonna keep the video going here. So that is Mirth, Pangea and Mirth. And we're going to move over to this large piece of paper. Let me zoom out so you can see what I've got going on. This is probably gonna be our longest video because I want to fill in the rest of these shapes and do a little bit of shading. Okay, I feel kind of proud of myself that it sort of worked out. I mean, I only have one more tangle to do and I'll have some extra space to fill in, but not too bad. Um, this was really fun. I've never done a single piece of paper with 31 tangles before. So it's been exciting. I feel like some people would look at this and think, oh my goodness, that's way too busy. It's not organized. But I look at it and it's almost like an I spy where I just look for little bits of tangles that we did and just how much fun I had making those. So for this one, I'm switching to a Micron PN plastic nib pen. It just writes a little bit thicker and I like that for this mixed media paper. Okay, so we don't have much space left here to put in Pangea. So I'm going to zoom in. Try to stop the wiggling. And we're just going to start and see how this goes. So I'm going to start by, hmm, let me think. I'm going to start by following this shape here that I already had going. Just because I feel like by aura in something that already exists, it just blends well with this next little shape that I made. There's my first Pangea. And now I have to aura along the edge of that first one. There's another one. So now I've got a couple of options. One option is I can just squeeze this in right here and make another one, or I can use that go behind method. So, hmm. Let's try the go behind, which means I would aura along these and then I would just let it disappear through the back. I'm going to do that over here. I'm auraing over there and then pretending like it disappears on that side. So a couple options. One, make it disappear. One is just keep aura in and, and sticking it in between those. Okay, over here. 
And I'm not going to do the go behind. I'm just going to aura what is already there. This is kind of a fun one to end with because it can fit in anywhere. All right, I'm going to finish this one up. Look at how well that fills that space. I love it. All right, I'm going to stop right there so we can do some mirth. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So mirth I'm going to put in this one, and I'm going to make that letter C. Like a little C laying down. And I like to start with that middle line going up and out. I'm sorry, I'm going to zoom in a little more. Okay. And then I like to curve these next ones out a little bit. And I'm going to do one more on each side. And I'm going to make this little C go out a tiny bit just so I've got room to darken it and make it look like a hole. And then I'm going to go out to the sides and then just continue. So I really wanted to show mirth today just because if you look up Pangea, you often see it with this other fun tangle that just fits in there so well. Okay, now I need to thicken my edge, my ends. And that can be done by adding these little triangles or by running my pen back over and pushing down harder when I get to the ends. It's amazing how that little bit of thickening adds so much to the tangle. I love that so much, Pangea and Mirth. So now in the other ones, Sorry, I'm so wiggly. I'm really trying hard not to wiggle, but the setup I have going on is it's not going great. Okay, so now this one right here, I had a go behind. So I'm just gonna aura inside of it and let those continue to disappear in the back. See that? And let's see, and this one, hmm, try to think if there's a, maybe I'll do some walk the line. So I'm going to do a circle, and I'm going to come out, it kind of looks like mirth. I'm going to come out with those, and then remember walk the line, we... Put these curves in here and darken the top. Just trying to go back and look at some of them that I enjoyed and, and what might fit in here. So that's kind of fun for that one. Let's see, I'm going to do some tag. Tag was those little bumps that have the little black mark inside it. Like that. This one, I'm just going to aura the inside. So many things you can do 
with these funny odd little shapes. I love them. This one I'm just going to put some lines in. I'll do some orbs in this one. I'm just making this up as I go. I didn't have a plan. That's the best part of Zentangle is when there is no plan and you just do what you feel like doing and sometimes it turns out amazing and sometimes it doesn't and that's okay. As long as you're having fun playing with the lines, it doesn't matter. And this one I'm going to just do some lines again, some curves. I've got one more over here. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what to put in that one. Maybe I'll do Flux Echo, which had an orb, a large flux, and then it echoed. And then I'll just fill in the part that I didn't use with some ink. Look at that, even putting Flux Echo in there looks amazing. Wow, I can't believe we are at the end. This is so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna fill in this area real quick over here. So I'm going to put in, hmm. Gosh, I'm already forgetting what these are called. Let me look at my calendar. Del Y. I'm going to do a Del Y over here. So Del Y had that seed pod shape, seed pod shape, one in the middle, and then that little arch that goes over it. I'm going to do another one coming out down here. Just filling in spaces now. Got this extra space down here. I'm just going to fill that in with ink. A tiny little space in there. Right here, I'm going to add an orb, and I'm going to aura it. I'm really liking the aurad orbs this time around. The space here, I'm just going to ink in. I'm going to aura around these shapes. right around that circle. Just showing you how I fill in extra space. Over here, let's see, I'm going to do an aura inside all of these. Kind of looks like a Pangea. Do that again. In the space I have left, I'm going to add an orb. And then I'm just going to ink in this extra space here. Well, that part is done. All right, I've got a little bit of space up here. I'm going to try snack again. That was one that I really liked, but it was kind of tricky for me. So we start with the dot bumped up and down and around. Came out the other side. And added those little side pieces. And I liked when we added the stripe in the middle. 
That was kind of pretty. All right, to fill in around this, I'm going to do some aura in again. Now, aura that whole shape. Right here, I've got an extra spot. I'm going to add some ink. Up here, I've got a spot. I'm going to add some ink. And over here. Right here, I've got a bigger area, but not really necessarily big enough to add an orb. So I'm going to just add an aura and kind of mimic that line. Over here, I'm going to aura that a couple more times. Same down here. And the space left over, I think I'm going to do a small orb an aura and ink it in. Oh my gosh, there's not much left. All right, this pretty little peace flower here, the save you. I'm gonna aura all of that one more time. And let me see, I think I'm gonna try to aura this. my go-to this time is these auras. All right, got a little bit of space in there I can ink in. I'm going to add an orb in here and the reflection. I'm going to aura the orb. It's hard to say. So sorry, this is wiggly today again. And I'm going to ink in extra little spaces. And come over here, ink those in. There's no right or wrong way. Did I just finish the tile? Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that was my last little piece. Wow. All right, I'm going to, this is so exciting. I'm gonna add a little bit of shading on some of these and then, um, and then I'll pull back and we can check out and see how it all turned out. Gosh, I didn't realize I was finishing that quickly. So on this little mirth, I'm gonna put it all around the inside edge like that and on this curvy one here that looks kind of like a caterpillar I'm gonna put it on the inside of that since this one here overlaps these I'm gonna add some shading out here That kind of makes sense. And Avro goes over the save you. I'll put some there. Avro over here goes over save you. Add a little bit of shading there. inside this. So really these ending things, you're just kind of stepping back, looking at what you've done, looking to see if you need to add any ink anywhere, any shading. Let me do some blending with my tortillon. So one other thing I did on this piece is all along the edge, oh, I'm so sorry, all along the edge I've been adding shading 
So you can see I stopped right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some all along that edge and soften it. And then blend some of these lines that I did. I love mirth. It's amazing how a little bit of graphite on even the smallest of shapes can add some dimension. Go around my Avro. Just going to take my Tortillon and, and add some inside snack. All right, I'm sure I'll go back and add a little more shading later. But I do want to check my edges and add this. Try not to press too hard so I don't shake too much, but I want to add this little bit of graphite to the whole edge. All right, I think I'm done. Oh my goodness. All right, let me zoom out. Let's see if we can fit this whole thing on the screen here. I think we can get it. There we go. All right, there is my 31 days of tangling. It's so exciting. I love this so much. And I can keep going back and adding little bits of shading if I see a spot. Can add some ink if I need to, but that is pretty much done. Now, one thing I do want to do is add my initials or my name to the front somewhere. So I could hide it in a tangle or just put it out on the edge. Um, I think I'm gonna put it over here in finery. So I'm gonna do my artist chop, which is a K and a B like that. I'm just gonna hide that in there and I'm gonna put 22 in there also. And then on the back of this piece, what I've done in the past with Inktober on my calendars is I will print out the tangle list and the artist names and just stick it right on the back. So I could do that on the back of here just so I've got all of the names of the tangles and the artists. So I could put that on the back and I also might just write a few sentences of a journal entry about this process, this month, what was going on in my life. Um, the fact that I made videos on all the days, I don't know, just, it's kind of fun to look back over the years at your tangles and, and think about what was going on in your life when you were doing that. So I highly recommend a little journal entry, journal entry, and, um, adding the date and your name. Good job. Thank you so much for all of your support this month. I have really had so much fun chatting with you guys on all the comments. Um, some of you have joined my Facebook page, Let's Tangle, and have shared your work. Please, please, please join my Facebook page and share what you've done if you have not done it yet. And um, follow me on Saturdays for more fun 15-minute videos. Thank you so much for making this month so special. Um, can't wait till Inktober next year. Thank you. Goodbye.